Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Eyes Rebirth, and today we're going to do a quick Azazel run. Why? Because I wanted to talk a little bit about Azazel. The last time I played as Azazel on camera... <laughs> Holy shit! This is reminiscent of the very first time I played as Azazel. Is this the same seed? No, because I wouldn't have had the seller. WPD6 7GR4, screw it, I was going to go for a speed run anyway, let's do it. As I was saying, the last time I played as Azazel on camera, I lost at the final hurdle. I was doing the dark room, I believe, or maybe I was doing the chess. Either way, I remember I died because I was whinging about it, and I was pissed. And I also had a sore throat, so I didn't want to record any more that day. So, off camera, I kicked the game's ass as Azazel, killed the lamb in like, I think it was 20 minutes. Which can be done a lot faster instantly. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, it's a double floor. Alrighty. And I remember in the run I recorded the next day after that, I was recounting that I played as a Zazo off camera for the first time ever doing a run off camera since getting Rebirth. And what people thought about Azazel runs in general because he is easy mode. He is ridiculously powerful. And whether or not people wanted to see runs as him. And actually a lot of people did kind of say, yeah, the occasional run is fine, they don't really come for the game, I'm not picking that up. They come for the commentary and the adventure, the the, the what might happen kind of scenario. For air energy, a bit of gas, where's my pill gun? Uh, my full card rather. Well, let's go back for the item rooms, I know I, if it's a speed run you should technically just keep going, but there's two item rooms so I want to get the other one. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep playing as a Zazel now and then. If the game ever frustrates me, Azazel is a good cure for that frustration. And I remember when I was trying to give hints to new players quite a long time ago now, I was suggesting which characters are good to play as, and I think I said Azazel because he is so overpowered. I'm kind of rethinking that a little bit now though. Why? Because he's so powerful. Yeah, you'll get wins, and if you want to just go for like item unlocks and stuff, which can be helpful. Also, speaking of helpful. <laughs> nah, that's, if we get hit we leave a trail, uh, a trail. that's fine. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, he, he's powerful, but I actually think he's too powerful and would actually be a detriment to new players because they'd get used to his level of power. And can you imagine going from Azazel to Eve or Maggie? It's just, you have to have your bar set a little bit lower so that you're used to playing as the characters who aren't as uber from the start or you'll never improve. So I actually no longer think Azazel is a good character to play as when you're learning unless you're in that situation I pointed out where you're sick of the game's shit it's been kicking your ass a little bit, just giving you horrendous luck. Plays Azazel and you kick the game's arse and you enjoy it while you do it. And then you'll feel better and ready to take up the challenge of someone else. Next time. <laughs> so also, to go back to this run momentarily. Yeah, the very first time I played as Azazel. The very first time, and that's why I remember it so clearly. I walked in my first item room on basement. Didn't have cellar at that point, I'm fairly sure. And it was Ludo Technique, and Ludo plus Brimstone is fantastic, as you can see. So if you never saw that very first time, which I think was my third or fourth run ever. Almost took damage there though. Yeah, now you don't need to go back and see, because you're seeing it here, with a more exper experienced me this time. I was still learning all the new facets of Rebirth back then. I think uh, that was the first time I got into Boss Rush as well, I think. And got to try and work out what the hell was going on. It's probably also the run where I got most of the blank boy achievements. In other words, getting through all the various areas of the game without getting damaged because... Well, look at this shit. <laughs> you can see why it's fairly easy to. I'm not saying I'm going to do that again now. Not that I need to because I have them all, but... We missed our item room. I'm going to kill the boss while we're here anyway. Let's just clear a little hidey hole for myself in this corner. Uh, you may want to look away from the screen. <laughs> Gertie is a little bit... glowy. I want to look away from the screen to be honest, but I can't because I need to dodge in case she fires. She's going to die any second now though. Actually, I'm looking at the recording window and the flashing isn't nearly as bad on that. It's weird. Sure, more damage. Be Krampus, I dare you. Um, okay, well we have a very good spacebar item. But I guess we know. Speed up is good. For air energy is irrelevant. Oh, that's not true. No, that's not true. Let's not be entirely lazy here. We can... Um, Make a fly army. Alright, there we are. And this is paralysis, which is, you know, it's fun for a good time, but now we're gone. Uh, let's go back and find item room. This isn't, I mean, it's a speed run to prove a point, kind of, but it's not like a speed run for the world record. The world record speed run for an Azazel run, I believe, is something like 3 minutes 35 seconds, which is ridiculous. 
a seeded run though, so obviously it's a run with all the best items for him. Simo, fuck off! <laughs> no way in hell am I taking... I will check for a secret room here though. There is no way in hell I'm taking Simo. I'm not even sure what it would do, to be honest. If you want to know what it would do in this situation, you saw the seed at the start, you go try it out and let me know. The other thing about going fast though, is that I'm inclined to talk faster. It's just because you know you're rushing, so then you feel like you need to rush when you talk. I'm going to slow down a bit by sipping on tea as I go down to the next floor. Mm. I del deliberately put more hot water in it than I usually do, so it's still way too hot. But I need it. This is the last run of the day, and that's why that's also partly why it's in a Zazo run. I like finishing my days with like a, a good ass kicking of the game, and this is almost a guarantee of always happening. Thank you. So far though, like just if you consider the items I got, not the fact that I started as this character, this, regardless of who I started as, would be a pretty damn good seed. I mean, we're getting good stuff. Incidentally, I'm not sure if going into curse rooms counts as damage for the purposes of the get through the various areas of the game without damage. Though in this game, it stops tracking after you kill the boss. So if there is a curse room and you want to go in it, but you don't have the no damage achievement yet for that area, go in the boss room first, kill the boss. I'm going to keep Master of Unlocking on the off chance we can somehow get a Jera rune and... no, oh, that doesn't matter. And blank card. Which would mean going into shops now I think about it. That's the best place to find blank card, so I will start nipping into shops. Because we might as well just try and make this the most ridiculous run ever. Because we can. Because we're a Zazel. Bitches. Thank you. I mean also, look, we're on bloody Caves 2, 6 minutes in, we're 1 HP away from Cap. And that's only because I went in the curse room. It's ridiculous. But it's fun. Fun for me, I'm not sure about maybe always being fun to watch. But hey, he's a good character to unwind with, unwind with rather, if nothing else. Give me an old stats up, I dare you. Coward. Well, Alright, well, give me a fly army then, that's fine too. I forgot that the little tear follows you, even if you're not pressing anything. There's a shop. No blank cards, sadly. That will help secure money in the future, assuming I actually take damage. I don't really want bombs. Goodbye, gentlemen. Another good thing about having Ludo plus Brimstone, or you know, whatever you call Azazel's starting mini Brimstone, is on a dark room like this, it makes the whole place look so much prettier. Oh, you poor fistula bits. Bye, job. Eventually. That's right, the target's right on you. Hmm. No, I don't want Placenta. Did I go to the item room on that floor? I don't think it matters. Let's move on. Um, nah, nah, I was going to blow it up, but no, won't bother. Also, I accidentally said nyah there. I feel dirty. Oh, we're half away from cap now. No, not worth it. Um, yeah, we'll do that, though. We'll go in the curse room, because we're going to get more HP. And we only get damage on the way in anyway. Eh, uh, the way out, rather. Get out of my way. Yeah, I want to avoid... Uh, regen items because I'm quite happy staying on temporary health as a Zazel. And in general, but the uh, triple pin room stops slowing me down. If we can become guppy as well with this setup, oh, <laughs> oh, beautiful things would happen. Beautiful, beautiful things. Maybe I should have taken Liberty Cab just so I would get the compass ever so often. Demon's Tail. I'm, I'm keeping Master of Unlocking purely because of the potential of nonsense. By the way, even if you can fly, this will still damage you if you go over it because... Oh, I'm getting to our item room for free. I'll go back for the full card. Slow effect on my massive... Oh, it changed into a milkshake colour, which is kind of fun. I prefer the bright red, personally, but... Can't remember what I was saying, either. Oh, I'll go back for the full card. Yes, that's what I said, but I'm sure there was something else. I want the full card so that I can go into the... Huh! Two identical rooms next to each other. So that I can go into the boss rush and teleport out instantly. 
It's our last bomb. Make it worthwhile? Nope, never mind. It doesn't matter. Let's assume that mo we are a mom, right? No. Getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Ah, uh, whoops. Alright, if we get some bombs, I will come back here because I love that room for the potential of Dry Baby. Not because I need Dry Baby, but because I like Dry Baby. Uh, that would make our flies better, right? I think I want that, even though it's not blank card. Done. Oh, I walked right into him! And got hit again on the way out, so... Good job I already have the no damage in the depths achievement. There's a ghost somewhere. There he is. Once again, dips one, right? Yep. War. Goodbye. Soon. Oop, nearly. And let's get kind of like a bond thing going here. You can actually hit me if I stand over this. Ball of Angies is fine. Krampus is fine. Oh, it's not Krampus. It's Gimpy. Oh, dear Gimpy. And let's go... I, oh, I don't have a bomb to bomb the donation machine, so if I want this... Hive Mind would make my flies better. Ah, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to sip more tea as I go down to the next floor. Hmm, still retaining its heat as well. Nice. Oh, darkness again. Good job I have a, the world's biggest torch and most deadliest as well. An arcade. Hmm. Nah. No bombs to unfortunately blow up those. Could come back though. If all the things I'm missing on this run is bombs. And I had Pyro on the last one. So we found Mom pretty sharpish, but we haven't found our item room on this floor, and it is the last item room, so I feel like I should probably go find it. We have a bomb now as well. Where am I going to use that? We'd get two skulls back there, two flames here. We'll do the two flames at the hopes of getting a spare heart, just because. Alright, that's fine. Pill, unknown and paralysis. The unknown pill is... Amnesia. Well, I still know I just want my... I forgot about the final shop. And the final shop is greed. Should have bought Hive Mind somehow. Well, we can still get an item here, but it's probably going to be HP, and if it is, I'm not taking it. Although I could trade it away to deal with the devil, mind you. And Red Heart deals are more palatable than... Yeah, actually, I will take it then. Yeah, I've convinced myself. I'm fairly certain I'm going to be getting deals with the devil. Still need to find the damn item room though. Which has to be back here and in one of these directions. Another bomb, thank you very much. Very nearly got caught by the hand there. I assume there's another one? Yeah. Which is very slow compared to the other one. Alright, so that didn't die. I think it did there? Nope. Ugh, why did it have to be amnesia? Did no one tell you this is a speedrun? Kind of. My faces. More about faces. Nah. I was tempted. I was tempted by that gold chest, but no, I don't think so. Now this will link into where we have... Ah, another one. Now if he drops HP, will I take it? Yeah, because I'm fairly certain I'll get at least one two heart deal, or two separate one heart deals. By the way, if Mom's Knife appears in the deal with the devil, I am not taking it, because I think it will overwrite this, and I don't want to overwrite this. Regular Brimstone I will take. Credit card... I can use that to get free deals with the devil, but I don't actually want free deals with the devil, so I won't take it. I want out of the boss rush. Jerrin. Damn. Oh, that got rid of my amnesia. And we're out of money. Satanic Bible is good. Maybe even better than Gibby's head, given that I don't have hive mind. 
I don't think we'll need it. So I'll stick with the flies that may do a lot of damage. Now once we teleport out of Boss Rush, I will go back for the credit card and then use that for free deals with the Devil after the Womb Slash Euro 1 boss. But yeah, let's go get Boss Rush, pick up an item and teleport out. There is a small matter of killing Mom first, but it's a very small matter. Oops. I moved too slowly. Not that it matters. It's fine. It's a Zazel. With this nonsense. Ludo plus Brimstone. Glorious. And stick your eye out, or your nose, whatever. Polaroid. Deal with Devil. The ability to fly for two. I don't feel that I need that. Oh, wait. I'm going to take it just so I don't have any red hearts. It also gives you a spectral thing, not that it mattered. Uh, we'll be taking the damage, thanks. Screw you forever! Now, go back for the... It's in here, right? Yeah. Thank you. Well, we also have some more money to give him, however, if he pays it with HP. Not taking it now. Wait, why do I still have a red heart? Oh, because Fat Old Mushroom gives you a red heart. And I just accidentally picked up that heart, which filled it. All is not lost. I wasn't planning on getting hit much anyway, so the fact I'm not going to get Polaroid Invincibility every time I get hit doesn't matter. Plus, I can still just buy one deal with the devil on the next floor, assuming I get one, for the sake of it, and then use credit card and get whatever else is there for free. Down we go. So, to so the womb at, what, like 17 minutes? Euro, as it turns out. 15 minutes. We're not going to be under 20 minutes though, so we're not going to be as fast as that one I did off camera where I did get like Mom's Knife and the first deal with the Devil, so not as fun to look at as this, but more damage. This is a good room clear. It doesn't do massively well against some bosses, but as far as room to room, it's hard to beat it. That's why it's so easy to get the no damage achievements with this setup. Unfortunately though, if you're thinking, oh I'll just put in the seed and get them all easily as well, you won't get them on seeded runs. So you're just going to have to, you I mean, you could technically just play as Azazel and constantly restart until you get Ludo in your first item room. That'd be bloody tedious, but it would work. Better done early on, I guess, before you unlock a bunch of stuff. It's one of the items that are unlocked from the get-go. Okay, we'll just, yeah, we'll just truck alongside you and take you out as you go. Wrong way. Good pair though. Why did everything else other than the. Oh, also, I used the key there. Everything else other than the bombs get absorbed instantly. I used flying over the rock to my advantage there. Hello, Polycephalus. You're not going to have fun here. Told you. I mean, I know when you pick up items or, you know, as a room ends, you can't quite pick up items straight away. But I picked up everything else. That's what was throwing me off. Yeah, the Wagon Wheel of Doom is coming for you, and if I get hit, there's now a Spirit Heart. Didn't actually see what was that. Oh, it was a bomb. That's fine. I'll go back for it. And our boss is... Blast cyst, you poor sod. I'm just going to stay over the... Actually, no, I can't do that because you fire. If I don't get a deal with the devil, I'm going to be pissed. Thank you. Caffeine pill is garbage. Oh, I was just going to say we haven't fought Krampus yet. Whoops. Well, I can go back and get that heart. I would have got the achievement still, though, I think, because it uh, unlocks when you kill the boss. Do I want Krampus's head or do I want the flies? I don't think I have a choice here. Oh, hang on, I can pick it up again and then walk out. Walk out. There we are. Size down plus a pill, I guess so. It's more speed. Makes us harder to hit. The credit card is now worthless unless I can get a joker card. Tears down does nothing. That's a shame. I mean, we could still get a joker card. It's just not very likely because we've got nothing that would influence that. Unless Ace of Spades drops. I imagine we'll be getting Euro 2 here. No, Wim 2, but Curse of Darkness. But no, no, I can light up the sky. Ah. 
And it's, now it's a shame we don't have two red hearts because I could play the demon beggar. Although if you were to pay it with HP, which he did, let's just get that to one side so I can concentrate on this. Alright, and now if I get any other red hearts, like say for blowing this up. I also want to blow up the key beggar because he sucks. Blow up the key beggar because he sucks. Got my bomb back there now. Right, I'll come back as I find red hearts. I mean, that's going to slow things down needlessly, possibly. I'm just curious what I could get. We missed out on a deal with the devil, so I'm trying to make my own. Curse room. Yes. Black candle just sitting in a curse room. That is slightly weird. Although there goes Curse of Darkness. Ner -ner. Ah, now I kind of just want to stay on a half heart, though. Not that it's going to come into use, I don't think. Thank you, Gimpy. Hmm, I kind of... I, I don't know. I'll just try for a Devoy. Why the hell not? I don't need it. I also don't need to worry about Polaroid Invincibility, I feel, so screw it. Just try to get really, really powerful. Not that we already aren't, but, you know, even more. Still not enough for another plate. Pheromones, tears down, range down, range down. I don't think I'll be taking those. You poor sods. Alright, now we have another play. We're getting further and further away from the arcade, so I don't think I'll be going back and say more than one more time after this. So if you want to pay out, that'd be great. Oh, invincibility, Polaroid, I forgot. I accidentally played a spare heart there. Again! Amnesia. Alright, let's blow the, this up, because I don't really want more red HP anyway. Now give me Polaroid Invincibility to play him a few more times. Could have played him once more there. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a black heart. Come on, pay it. Pay it with the coin purse. Alright, so I gave up one HP for a bunch of flies. Basically. Not a good deal, but oh well. I should have just kept on going. We know there's a spare heart down here I left. Yoink. If only I had PhD. <laughs> We're getting so many pills. Uh, I want to stay on a half heart. This will still keep us at a half heart. There we are. See you later, chub. Done. Alrighty. Don't want any of that. Thanks. I imagine that this is the right way to the boss. It feels like this is. It's going to be an under half an hour win, that's for sure. And yeah, it's a win. It was a win along. It was a win as soon as Ludovico was in the first item room as Azazel. But it's always fun to have a big death circle that you can just spam all over the place. I still want to see how much more powerful we can get though. That's the only other goal I have this run. By guppy or by passive damage ups, etc. All that stuff. Alright, there's our fight. This will not take long. Um, did I go round above her at the very second she pulled up or something? I'm very surprised I got damaged there. Uh, the flies should probably hurt there. Obviously not killing it as fast as that mom's knife run I rerolled recently. Oh, so that was just silly damage. And we are going up. Up we go. Depending on how close we are to the boss, it might be uh, under half hour. Although if I have to wander around the entire cathedral, maybe not. Alrighty. At least there's no more curses. After me saying Black Can Candle barely ever pays out, I've had it like three runs out of the last five. Not that I'm complaining, it's a good item for hard mode, but its value is definitely higher in hard mode than it is in normal. Poor, poor luckies. You just want to put bullets all day, but 
then an asshole like me has to come along with a big death circle that makes all your attacks look pathetic in comparison and you just smile your way to death. We do know this pill, but it's not good. Why am I still holding on to credit card? I don't know. <laughs> because it's that or a paralysis pill, I guess? Take that. Let's try it up the way. Oh, an entirely empty room. Oh, I didn't see the bullets for my own tears there. Um, kind of didn't want that, but it didn't make much of a difference. This is probably the right way. Thank you for the money. I wish I could have donated if I uh, hadn't had greed in my final shop as per bloody usual. I can still complain about that regardless of how strong or weak I am on a run. Hey Isaac. Meh meh meh. I forgot that Isaac makes that noise I like imitating. Meh meh. Oh, get him out of second form nice and quick so you don't get killed by random beams from the sky. <coughs> Oh, very nearly. It's all right. There we go. And no, he's going to teleport one more time, I feel. Yeah. Maybe even two more. As I say, it's good against the rank and file, but not so much against bosses, at least late game. This particular setup. With that, we haven't really had that many other damage ups, that's why. Is Fat Old Mushroom the only one? Can I just remember? There we go, to the chest to see what we get. Come on, Polythemus! Alright, what we got? Punching bag. Lemon mishap. Dead Sea Scrolls. Hey, more damage. I mean, I don't think this will do anything, so... Sure. Did it get a little bit thinner? I think it got a little bit thinner. Also, I got sniped there. Look at Lust just doing naughty, horrible things to... to let's not speak of that again. The punching bag. Oh. Just, just move forever. Although I forgot that sometimes it just decides that you've been hit because it all locks on. Like that. Screw you, double adversary. Definitely the worst room. Hey, revenge fly. Fantastic. Oh, would you like some blast assists with your blast assists? I would like some dark bum to eat all these red hearts. There's still some left somewhere. Oh, there's actually quite a few of them, in fact. Oh, really? Just like, really? <laughs> hey, that other one's dead. Yeah. I was moving at top speed, I have very good above average speed and he still hits you. That attack needs to be changed, it is unfair. This is an easy room at least, but it's a dead end as well, which is unfortunate. We're still going to win, it's just annoying. Oh, actually, unless it throws like three more double adversary rooms at us, then I'll die. Probably. It was a very obvious place, that's why I bothered. And for our trouble, we get a lot of money we can do nothing with. Although, if I was to find magic fingers again, that would be interesting. Let's try down. It's very rarely down that uh, the blue baby fight appears, actually. I, I can't say that with certainty. Never mind. Red chest. What did I do to deserve slash warrant that? So actually, it's entirely the wrong direction again. Hooray! Oh, hello again, Haunt. You're not going to have a good day. A big room. It'll be the, yeah, the Sins. It's either the Sins or the Horseman. Let's 
get rid of you as well. Pride, Gluttony next. No, wait, Gluttony last. Who else is left? Oh, 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 I got sniped off screen by Greed. Thank you. Maybe I did want red health after all. All those empty heart containers. I'll go back if I need to. And here's the rest of the sins. Super Lust needs to get done while she's killing him. Um, punching bag over there. Oh, Super Envy's stuck inside the hole. Less than three? Uh, another lard. Okay. Didn't actually know that could happen. And that was one room after the other as well. Oh, damn, I'm not on a half heart. I will have to go back for sure, even if the boss is here. Poor, poor Gertie. Oh, we're on half heart now. You both attacked punching bags, you dicks! I don't like Daddy Long Legs, but he appears to be stuck. Hmm. So kind of by accident, it looks like we're clearing every room in the chest. Whoa, that was close. I am. Ugh. Another entirely empty room. Alright, and the boss, yes. We are going to do a full clear. Watch it be a double adversary room and make me instantly regret it. Ah, this is fine. I know there's red health on the floor, we don't need it. How many bombs? Oh yeah, I've got poison bombs. Might as well poison. Although I don't think he got poisoned there, did he? Well, either way, this has been an Azizo run. One of the, the more fun ones when you get Ludo, that's for damn sure. I hope you enjoyed, and that you'll leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see more daily gaming stuff, both Rebirth and all the other gaming stuff I do. He's dead. He's, he's just gone. Yeah, that was fun. Looked a little bit dicey there with the double adversary rims, but either way, Hope you enjoyed, see you next time, and ta-ta for now.